I really love food. It's it's delicious. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. And you know, every now and again, I like to throw get together. It's just like anybody else. Like, hey man, why don't you come over? We're gonna put some stuff on the grill. You know, yada yada yada. We're gonna do some big things. You know, saying we have some drinks. But you know, lately, I know some people who don't. Well, I take that back. They throw parties or get-togethers, but they do it really intelligently. They say, hey, we have this and we have that, but maybe you want to bring your own bottle. Or they tell you, hey, we're doing a potluck. And I'm like, they're always doing a potluck. Then I, you know what? This is what I hate about people. And I'm not, the, I'm not pointing out any particular people, but you know who you are. Oh, I don't. I don't eat everybody's cornbread. I don't eat. I don't eat everybody's cornbread. I, I, I don't eat everybody's ribs. Um, you think they put strychnine in the ribs? You think they put cyanide in the cornbread? Listen, a potluck is a real frugal way of saving you money. If people coming over your house and having a good time, say, hey man, we throwing the, um, we throwing the, um, together get together. You know, friends, family, blah, blah, blah. And we asking everybody to bring a dish. All right, we're doing a mac and cheese and we're doing the ribs. Somebody bring uh, cornbread and juice or chips, whatever. That's a really cheap way. But when you throw it yourself, look at your bill. Look at your bill. See, potlucks and bring your own liquor or bring your own beer. But now, granted, I'm going to have some stuff. I'm going to have some stuff at the house. But... You get a wide variety, a wide variety, okay? <laughs> variety. Can I? I can't say that damn word. Just laugh at me. But <clears throat> of different things for people to eat. Now, granted, some of you people are bougie. Some of you people are picky because you simply don't eat everybody's stuff. I don't know why. I eat everybody's stuff. I eat, I eat everybody's stuff until I like, that's not good at all, okay? Because I'm, I'm really... Uh, uh, Curious about how other people cook. I love this is another thing. People always say I don't eat everybody's stuff, but your ass go to a restaurant and eat everybody's stuff. Huh? Does that make any sense? Talk to me. You don't eat everybody's this, you don't eat everybody's cooking, but you go to a restaurant and you eat everybody's cooking. Because it's a potluck. You think that it's unsanitary. I don't know what they do with their food. I don't know. They wash your hands. How you know in a restaurant they wash your hands? Potlucks are a frugal way for you to throw a party and save money. You don't have to be bougie and be like, oh, well, I'll put together everything. Plus, you know, I always make these really cute observes and hot dogs and buns and biscuits and whatever. Hey, listen. I go to Wally World. We get the little nacho dip plate. And we get the fruit plate. And be like, yo, uh... We having a get together, man. You should bring a dish. What you bringing? Oh, man, I do the mac and cheese. Hey, listen. People are cool about that because the only thing they have to cook is one thing. And you know you're going to go over there and have a good time. You're going to drink. You're going to um, maybe play some games like I threw one time. Threw some, I put some games together like Connect Four, old school games. It was fun though. We didn't do Monopoly. Monopoly take too damn long. But, we, you know, we did some different types of games. Uno, Spade, etc. We had drinks and things like that, but you save money when you do it that way. When you throw it yourself, when you throw it yourself, you spend tons of money. Hey, Ross, well, my money makes money. Potlucks. Potlucks are the way to go to throw a great party and to be frugal and save lots of money. And you just saying, oh, you're just trying to be cheap. Your mind is not in the right place. Because you want to go to the grocery store, you want to go to Safeway, Kroger, Giants, QVC, etc., etc., and spend all your hard work and money to invite people over your house just to have a good time. Let me tell you something about weddings. Weddings are a very, very good time for about a couple of hours. And weddings range from 10000 plus. Now, I don't really advise you spending more than $5,000 for your wedding. I don't. Especially if it's coming out of your pocket. Now, if the groom or the broom or <laughs> the groom or the bride, <laughs> you know, um, pays for it, then that's different. Maybe it's coming out of somebody's pocket. But you should even encourage them not to spend that much money, okay? You know, it's a special day. And this is mostly about potlucks, but let me harp on weddings real quick. 
Let me hop on weddings real quick. Don't spend all your money getting married. Now, yes, some of you women out there, you're like, oh, I want the perfect dress, and I want the perfect this, and I want the perfect that. Listen, that man worked his ass off to give you that ring on your finger, okay? He worked his ass off, and he's telling you, I appreciate you, okay? Um, so understand that, but if you guys have to pay for the wedding yourself, don't put yourself in a poorhouse. Don't spend all that money on one day, okay? You still got the honeymoon. And you still got years of being together. But you should not be taking years to pay off the debt that you accumulated in one day. Now, granted, some of you want this day to be very special. It can still be special, okay? Because truthfully, the wedding ain't for you. The wedding ain't for him. Now, some people will argue the wedding's for both of them or the wedding's for the bride. The wedding is for the family to see. All that money you spend, or whether you're at a church, or you rent out a convention center, or whatever you have it, it's for the people to see you get married. It's not for nobody else. So don't spend all that damn money, because what if you get divorced? And I'm not speaking divorce in your marriage. I would never do that, because you shouldn't. But don't spend all that money. But potlucks. I switch it up on you real quick. But potlucks. Think about it. Harp on it. Okay? Ponder on it. This is Ross World where I'm trying to throw a party. I'm trying to have a good time. Hey, dog. Hey, I got some Hennessy. You bring the Crown Royal. You bring the vodka. Hey, you bring the mac and cheese. You bring the fried chicken. You bring this. You bring the uh, uh, finger food, etc. And I set up the games. That is how you do it. I'm out.